So you guys have all seen the printer if you clicked on this video, but what we're gonna talk about today is the actual team at Bamboo Labs and where they came from. Bamboo Labs was started back in 2020, though no one ever really actually heard about them until 2022 when their Kickstarter burst onto the scene. The machine in that Kickstarter was the X1 Carbon, which dazzled the 3D printing world with its features around LiDAR optimization, machine vision, and all types of other advanced capabilities that no one had ever seen in a consumer device. And it appeared to be a machine that made 3D printing so reliable and easy that it was a, a leap forward from where FDM machines currently were sitting at the time. This video is not gonna be about the machine. There's plenty of other places out there on the internet talking about it. This is about the team and how the company came to be. Anyway, from that Kickstarter, they raised $7 million with about 5,600 units sold. That Kickstarter was delivered on time, finishing up in about August of 2022. Since then, presumably Bamboo Labs has probably shipped just as many units again, so probably 10,000 units total in all of 2022. In the same year, they were named Time Machine of the Year, though quite frankly, while that is a feather in their cap, that list is curated by a lot of the companies submitting items to time to be evaluated, not necessarily some sort of standard review process. After finishing deliveries of the Carbon X1 from the Kickstarter and continuing production of that unit, Bamboo Labs then expanded their product line down to the P1P, which was a low cost machine that still had many of the same capabilities in the core skeleton of the X1, but reduced capabilities around sensing and some of the intelligence that was on the machine. So unlike most 3D printing Kickstarters, the Bamboo Labs Kickstarter was much more of a marketing campaign than it was an actual pre-order or funding system. Bamboo Labs had actually raised about $13.5 million prior to the Kickstarter that had allowed them to develop this technology. And then the Kickstarter was just a way to actually get pre-orders and improve cash flow a little bit, which is very similar to what other successful companies have done like Formlabs in the past. But why was this company able to do it? Who were the people who made this possible? So now we're just gonna kind of go through the founder list and the resumes of each one of them. Because what is fascinating about Bamboo Labs is that historically, many of the 3D printing companies have been kind of DIY grassroots based. For example, like Prusa or Lulzbot, they're very grassroots companies that then took ideas from the community and expanded on them and productized them in ways to where more people could access the technology that was being made. But Bamboo Labs are very experienced technologists. The CEO of the company, Dr. Yi Tao, was actually the head of the Mavic Pro project at DGI and then went on to just head the consumer drone department. His background is in aerodynamics and motor control, and he received his PhD in fluid dynamics in Germany. The CTO, Dr. Gao Zhongfeng Shu, was the head of the system engineering department at DJI. But even prior to that, he had six years of experience in the semiconductor industry. He has a ton of experience in embedded software systems, having gotten his degree in automation in 2008. The COO of Bamboo Labs, Wayu Leo, was a product manager at DJI. But prior to that, he worked at Marvell Semiconductor as a software manager. And then there's chief engineer Xian Qian, who was in charge of DJI's gimbal department. And it was actually his work that allowed an auto-stabilizing gimbal to be mass produced for the DJI drones. All of his work in motion control and active stabilization makes him ideal for working on the ways of dampening the vibration inside of a device like, I don't know, a 3D printer. And the other senior engineer is Wei Wu, who was part of the software design of the Mavic Air 2. And his work is now contributing to the micro LiDAR that is used inside of the Bamboo Labs machines in order to calibrate the extrusion of the machine. So if you've noticed anything interesting about that group of people, they have all come from one of the most successful consumer products companies in the last 10 years. DJI has managed to almost single-handedly commercialize consumer drones which was not really achieved by anyone else on the planet when drones were taking off. And DJI pretty much controls that market anymore, both through their good product design and their very high quality engineering. They have taken drone technology, which is very complex and made it accessible to normal people. And that is a very similar model that seems to be occurring now with what Bamboo Labs is doing. They are a very highly technical team that has very deep scientific knowledge of their individual fields to where they're able to take something enormously complex and make it usable for a general type of person, which is why the Bamboo Labs machine is so popular because it's been very approachable while also being a beautiful product that's very well designed with really cool features that seem almost magical, even though they're just very deeply technical. 
And this is why Bamboo Labs is such an interesting company in general, because very many of the 3D printing companies that have been started have either been true startups from like college kids in the garage or some DIY or working on something who has then commercialized a product and grown on that. But Bamboo Labs is the first very kind of R&D focused company that started with very deep technological expertise and has now applied it to a product that creates a product that is very different from what anybody else has ever seen because they've been able to come at it from that deep technical expertise to where something enormously complex becomes enormously usable. And this is a neat dynamic to see in the 3D printing industry. So they took something that was very basic and looked like it was done, FDM 3D printing, and then they applied all of their technical expertise to create something that was new and original, which hadn't been done and many people weren't really expecting, especially for FDM machines. But it's great to see it because it reminds everybody that innovation is never really done. It only stops when everybody gets bored or starts thinking the same ideas. There's always more innovation to be done. You just have to come at it from a different point of view and create something new and different. Whatever you have today is probably horrible and 10 years from now will be absolute garbage. And Bamboo Labs is a great example of that motif. If you are highly skilled and want to actually innovate in any area, you can do it in any area. So welcome to the Bamboo Labs team. It's great to have them as part of the 3D printing community and we can't wait to see what they're gonna do next. Thanks everybody.